For this haircut, we're going to do a longer classic haircut where um, the customer can brush his hair either straight back or he could brush it back with his part where the hair can fall down a little bit. So how we're going to accomplish that is we're actually going to section the top out of the way and we're going to layer the underneath por portion and clean it up around the edges. And then as we let the hair come down, we're going to over direct it back when we cut it. So what we're going to wind up with is a um, more of a disconnected haircut. We want the hair longer towards the front. So it gives the illusion that it blends when he brushes it back, but he's going to need it longer towards the front for it to style the way he likes to style. So again, when I say uh, the haircut's going to be disconnected, the easiest way to explain it is you're going to see a visual blend, but it's not going to be a technical blend if you were going to pick it up and, and cross check it in every which direction. So real popular so hairstyle now out in front here. And I don't want the hair tapered too close over the ears because we want to be able to brush it back. And when we brush it back, it's just brushing or just off the ear. So to, to do that, instead of coming behind the ear and tapering it out this way, all the work I'm going to do is the comb is going to be at a 90 or parallel to the side of the head, pulling the hair out at 90 degrees as I work my way up. So the scissor over comb technique is perfect for this. And the other thing I want to make sure that I do is the head is round. So we want to make sure I have this sort of this angle of the comb because I want the hair longer towards the front where it has to travel more. I don't want to round it in and have it tapered in the temple area. So let's begin and we'll, we'll show you what I mean. So we're just going to do our scissor over comb. The hair is, we're holding the comb 90 degrees parallel to the side of the head. And then as we did on the other side, we can comb the hair all the way to the center and take one small little section and comb it out. And we can start our design line here or our outline here. And comb out the next section. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to comb the hair straight back and we're going to part it directly down the center so we're even all the way around and we're going to blend the top into the sides and the back. So now when we're sure we have a nice, nice even center parting, this is where your mirror comes into play. Make sure you're looking directly in your mirror when you're doing this and you have that nice even center parting. We're going to start in the back and I'm going to take a couple sections. The first section I'm going to take is a higher section here and create my center guide. And then I'm going to work with the traveling guide and small sections. I prefer a traveling guide versus letting the hair fall down and then resectioning it. I find it for me to be easier. I can control the hair better. So I'm going to comb all the hair back. I'm going to pick it up. And we're going to see just a little bit of a point in the center. That's all we need to do on the top. And same thing here. Pull it back to where the front of the ear is, and that's going to be our final section. So now we're blended all the way around, and we're going to check it as we go. Okay, so the only thing left to do now is we're going to clean up the sideburns.